Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily monitoring the spatial distribution of bamboo spaces using remote sensing in Google Earth Engine. So basically in this time we talk about the bamboo index. How we can easily use the bamboo index and we can easily identify the different types of bamboo. So basically in this time I just apply this algorithm. First of all we try to calculate it the NDVI mainly vegetation index and then we also try to calculate it the water stress index. If you want you can also use it at the soil moisture index uh, and further we are just calculating the bamboo index. Okay. So first of all I will show you step by step all of this algorithm. And then I also try to show you that a code how we can easily use the Google Earth Engine platform to identify the bamboo. So let's go. It's just I simply open my browser, and here you can see I already write the code. Okay, and you can see this my satellite imagery. So from this satellite imagery, I calculate this type of things. One kind is the NDVI. So we can easily identify it's a vegetation, so water body. Okay, we can easily get this a vegetation map. Further, we also make the water stress index so that's why we can easily identify about that moisture. And finally, we can calculate the bamboo index. Okay, so now we can easily find out all of those bamboo area. So in this time, you can see basically vegetation. We can get this type of is the vegetation. So it's a vegetation. It can be different types of cropland, it can be different types of uh, trees, it can be different types of other species, but not bamboo. So now how I can identify about this bamboo? So basically in this time when you can see this type of green color, suppose I simply zoom in, it also more better. So basically this type of things will indicating the bamboo. So just I simply increase then show you that. And vegetation can be different types of, uh, it can be different types of trees or species as well as also it can be different types of cropland, okay. But when you can see this type of color, so basically this type of color, also you can see this type of uh, dark green color, it's identify about that vegetation, sorry, bamboo. And you can see this type of color, basically this type of green color, light green color identify about that normal vegetation it can be barren land it can be anything but not bamboo and you can see this type of yellow color it can be different types of uh, barren land okay it can be different types of barren land so in this time i can simply zoom it suppose i just simply zoom one area suppose i simply zoom this area and you can also open your satellite map from your uh, you can see we can easily get the satellite View, then we also get the more better understanding about that. So in this time you can see this type of pixel. So basically this type of pixel, okay, dark green color pixel identify about that bamboo region, okay, this type of pixel. Also I will show you another place. And this type of color, basically this type of green, uh, light green color identify about that crop plant or vegetation, but not bamboo. So basically bamboo we can see only for this type of pixel okay only this type of uh, green color okay drug green color pixel you can consider it as a say a uh, bamboo okay so but for the validation suppose uh, what the accuracy about this map so for that it also very better you can simply visit your study area and then you can simply take the some training sample so further you can use this type of training sample and use this training sample in your um, Google Earth Engine platform. You can also use it, and then you can easily check the validation about that bamboo. Okay, is it uh, how what that could say about this map? So in this time, we can get this type of map after applying the bamboo index. Here you can see about this type of things. You can easily find out this type of uh, dark green color. It's identify about that bamboo index or bamboo spaces we can get from here and other this type of things mainly this type of uh, green color identify about that it can be different types of vegetation okay so also you can see this type of you can get also bamboo about that but in this time this type of green color it's not a bamboo it can be other types of vegetation or crop plant other things 
So in this time also you can see, click, uh, simply zoom in, you can see the result about that. So in this time you can get this type of things you can see. Okay, so you can get this type of bamboo index look like that. And this type of thing, it's the other vegetation. It can be other uh, other types of trees, it can be cropland or other things, but not a bamboo. So bamboo we can get only for this type of uh, dark green color. And we can see this type of uh, yellow color identify about that uh, barren land. And you can see it also vegetation, but it's not a bamboo. Okay, bamboo show this type of things. We okay, just simply increase this side. This type of uh, dark green color. And further for checking this accuracy, we can uh, easily use the ground proof data. Okay, suppose you can simply visit your uh, location and try to take some training sample. Further, this training sample we are also used, and then further we can easily calculate the accuracy of our map. Okay, and then we also get the more uh, realistic result when you can use the ground proof sample for the bamboo. So in this time, I show you the uh, algorithm mainly how it will be work. So basically here you can see this is the one kind of paper so basically this paper they are first of all you can see this is the algorithm about that so basically they are in this time they are uh, image acquisition lens 2018 layer is taking then geo referencing radiometric correction also and mosaic the image collection from the mosaic image they calculated the ndvi and also calculated the si mainly water stress index and from here they are calculating the bamboo index okay after calculating the bamboo index for the validation they are also use some GPS coordinate from ground routing. Okay, so further they are make the bamboo distribution map. So if you have any ground route data or any ground sample about your training about your study area, so you can also import the GPS location on your map. And further, we also check our validation. What is the accuracy about that? In this time, in this paper, you can see that also put the water stress index formula mainly near minus short of infrared divided by near plus short of infrared as well as also you can say ndvi we, are, we already know about the ndvi mainly it's the near infrared minus red divided by near plus red when i put then we can get the ndvi and finally bamboo index it's uh then ndvi subtract with si mainly water stress index divided by ndvi plus water stress index so just mainly when i use this type of thing then i can easily get the bamboo index so further bamboo index we are just using the ground sample data and we are also make the bamboo distribution map but in this time without ground sample data i try to make this type of map so we can easily get this type of things but what's the accuracy about that for doing these things we have to use the ground sample of the bamboo phrase so in this time we can easily identify this type of things is that uh, mainly vegetation or coral plant uh, it show about the uh, mainly barren land or build up area Okay, so this type of things is show the other vegetation, but this type of things we can consider as a uh, bamboo, okay, bamboo trees or bamboo species. We can also check it from our satellite imagery also. So now mainly how it will be work. So you can see my code. So basically in this time we are just filtering our image collection for year of 2023. And further we are just make the NDVI mainly uh, put the normalized difference function and calculate the near minus red. And we can calculate the NDVI map. We can get this type of NDVI map. And further, we are also get the NDVI map, and then we are just uh, work for the weight uh, water stress index, mainly SI. So just put here the short wave infrared one and uh, near infrared and short wave infrared one band. We can calculate it the water uh, stress index. And further, we are just applying this uh, formula, mainly bamboo formula, NDVI minus uh, water stress index divided by NDVI plus water stress index. Okay. And further, we can create this type of bamboo index map. So now we can easily get it's a normal vegetation this type of uh, drug green color identify about that uh, bamboo and it's the identify about the barren land so further we can create this type of bamboo index so when you want to check about the validation you must need the ground sample data so we can easily use the ground sample data and you can easily identify about is it uh, originally is available for that bamboo species or not also you can check about the validation okay so today is no more. I hope you can also apply the bamboo index and further if you need any help about the bamboo index, you can contact with me. I also guide you. In the meantime, I also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program. So basically this class will be start from 15 March and only for the two days are available for joining this live training session. And only for the three seats are available for getting this 50% discount on this online training program. So basically we take the class only for the Friday and Saturday in a week. And class time is mainly it will be uh, start from the 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And is day three hours, two hours for the live training, one hours for the problem solving. 
and if you want to join this online training program you can get a lot of benefit first of all you can get the lifetime teaching support we are only only one of the institution who provide the lifetime teaching support after completing the total seven days online training program when you face any problem regarding any issue about the Google Earth Engine or Emote Sensing or coding, you can get the lifetime free support. And you also get all of those recorded class. If you miss any live training session, you can easily cover using the recorded class as well as you also get all of those material, all of the slide, all of those PDF book, all of those things you can easily get. And uh, if you want to join this online training program, simply contact in this WhatsApp number. You can also contact with this email. Then further, you can simply book your seat and join our Google Classroom and also join our WhatsApp group. So I already added all of those things in my video description. You can simply check and contact. Then you can easily join. Okay. So today is no more. Thank you for watching that. Stay happy. Stay safe.